Okay, and we are about to go downstairs. Um, Disney Mark is not the end in casi nada. And like, <laughs> I started like talking and um, talking and they thought I was weird. I pretended like I was on a phone call. But look at one of my favorite brands, Brunello Cuccinelli. If I could buy Brunello Cuccinelli full price, I would. A lot of this stuff is absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like the row, Brian Lucchinelli, Tom Ford. They're kind of like that very minimal, effortless feel. Like, look how beautiful that blazer is. And they have a lot of it on sale as well. But even so, Brian Lucchinelli is so expensive. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, so this top right here, 867 final sale from 24. Older, I've seen that here for a while. That's kind of like an older collection like from a couple of years ago but yeah we're done shopping at Neiman's and now we're gonna go to other stores Sabe que mas encontramos? you guys know I always like to show you guys everything what they have they have Prenda Schooler, Hendram Men, Celine. Oh, they have Celine here. I didn't even notice that. So we'll take a look at that. Fine jewelry. They have it with a new one on the side. And they have a good amount of Tom Ford here as well. And this is the Celine section, which I didn't even know they have Celine here. This box stock is gorgeous, look at it. I would love to add a box bag into my collection. And they have all the luggages, and they have them in the bigger sizes, and they all have like the little new Celine stamp on it. Do we prefer the older marking or the newer marking on the Celine bags? I would love to hear your opinion. They have it kind of like this in like a sandy color. And they have a lot of these belt bags. This color is absolutely stunning. And they have the pouch with the kind of like little basket. And then they have this new one here. It has the lock on it. And this will have them in the little small totes. I do like the Tom Ford bag. Simple and minimal. And look at all these Valentinos. And then here's some cell bags. We got a Bottega, Brunello Piccinelli, some Brunello Piccinelli card cases, Valentino, Mustela. And then we're back here in the Chloe slash Balenciaga section. I'm about to wrap it up here. I like that one up top. Be up town. Take this one off. Make it a little clutch. Look how huge this are is. It's super super big. I just want to give you some candy. So if you're coming to Denver, you're in Denver. Just showing you what's the 411. Get the energy. You know, I love retail so much. And then my friends are at Aritzia, so I guess I'll go to Aritzia, but Free People's right here. It's a really pretty store, it's super huge. And then there's a really pretty Tiffany boutique as well up here. Whenever we were in town, I told myself, I think there's a people love Free People. And then the restoration hardware. And then the restaurant where we went to yesterday, Chop House. Oh, and it reaches right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk in and see what they have. Huge. Huge. It's the biggest Aritzia I've ever. Hi. What? I mean, this Aritzia isn't massive. This Aritzia is the biggest Aritzia I've been to. Oh, really? 
such a big Ritz here. Podcast, look, I found some egg oldies for $50 in my size. Do you like them? Oh, these are very, like, so yes or no? I like these. I think I'm gonna try them on. Because I found a pair of Able Oldies for $50. And I like the wash of these, because you can just wear like a white bodysuit, like a black turtleneck. Super easy, super simple to style, and you are, you know, good to go. I'm not gonna be able to ever. It's humongous. Yeah, I got lucky with these trousers. They're egg oldie. It says my girlfriend ones don't fit me as much, so I think I'm gonna get rid of those. But I think this is one of the biggest services I've ever been to, like to date, because I've only been to the ones in Dallas. The one in Willow Bend, which is like ancient, like it's a, you can tell that it needs like a renovation, and the new one in Dallas. But this one is humongous. People love Aritzia, and I can see why. That blazer is really pretty too. And they are kind of so. Should I try them on or no? So they fit me perfectly. A la medida. So these are winner. It was so successful guys. Thank you. So successful guys. I got the jeans. I got the $50 Able jeans. Able never goes on sale. I always considering buying some full price, which I have in the past. I bought a pair of shorts and they were full price, but they just ended up not working out for me. But I can't believe I got them for fifty dollars, guys. Able never goes on sale. And then the ones that I'm going to, I got from Aritzia, which you'll see in a vlog. By the time this vlog goes up, you would have already seen my little story time how I got these ones for, I think, fifty dollars. But yeah, I'm so so excited. So I think right now I kind of want to go into Nordstrom and see what they have, or maybe some other stores. I don't know where I'm going. But Cassie and Sophia are still at Aritzia. So they have designer shoes here. They have these new colors with the silver hardware. To so the sneakers, they have a little new one. Little sneakers. Some Jimmy Choo. Interesting. And then they just, it just came out. How do we feel about them? They also have them in black. These are women's shoes are in one section. So they have frame, they have Prada shoes. They have all these shoes that are designer prints. They don't really have a lot left. These are Chloe. Look how cute the baby size Jimmy shoes are. A lot of golden gooses. They're very, very well stocked in golden gooses. Claire. These ones are quite interesting. Those Montclairs with the transparent at the bottom. And then they have Manolo Blahniks. And they have the sneakers. The iconic Susanna Boo, a Chloe Marcy, some St. Laurent. They have some Alexander Wayne. Those ones are precious. And then I also like both of those boots there. They have some more Valentinos. And then a little bit of Christian Louboutin. Not a lot, but si tienen poquito. Because they're like matte. But I like coming here a lot better than like Newman's because I feel like I feel more welcomed here, you know what I mean? And they have all these Saint Laurent, these espadrilles are gorgeous. 345. It's for me like I ruined espadrilles very really easily in the past. I also really like these snake skins. I saw um, one of my friends have those and I literally complimented her so much on them because they look absolutely stunning. Yeah. Blueberry counter. Yeah. Sorry, it's too long. I do I apologize. And they have some jewelry here, some Bowie Levy. The cosmetics is super huge here. Fine fragrances, they have Lee Labo, Tienen Todo, Joe Malone, Bobby. Like a huge Bobby Brown counter, Estee Lauder, Cl Clinique. And back. So that's what I really want to look at. So they have already their section ready for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I'm so excited to be doing two more videos on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And they have designer handbags. They don't really have a lot. Kurt Geiger. Those big XL ones. They have my iconic kit bag, the one that I own. They have a little wallet, a little clutch. They have the uptown that you can take out and make removable. And the thing is, they don't really have a lot. It's like super naked in here. So they definitely need to get more stock than Manhattan. 
Gundam bags here, the Vicky. And then some All Saints bags with Ragged Bone. The Anne. And here's a lot of the Chloe bags. So they have, oh, a little Silla McCartney wallet. The little Chloe Marcy's. These are the Iconics, so you can never go wrong. Chloe's not 100% my star, but I always tell people, if there's one bag from Chloe you should get, it should always be the Marcy. I like those baby sizes. I feel like you can kind of never go wrong with them. That one. We did Tom Ford. Look how pretty these Chanel fixtures are. Some Troy Birches. I think right now they don't have a lot because of the anniversary sale, which is completely understandable. These are new. I have not seen those. McGraw. It's a little crossbody, it's a little camel color. New Australia, the Nordstrom. It's a very personable Nordstrom. Like, it's not overwhelming, but then they also have like its two levels. I think it's a good amount of stock. And now we're gonna go upstairs to see what we'll find. And then they have the collectors, and then they have um, Montclair jackets. They have a lot of the core styles. I do like that pink color. And then they have some Carolina Herrera. Oh, that white blouse is everything. Yeah, they have some beautiful, stunning Carolina Herrera vestidos. Like, mira que bonitas están. And then tienen some Acris. So they have Acris, they have Carolina Herrera, Montclair. And then I think that I saw a wing too. I have Pronto Schooler. Oh, this is really nice too. Let the light all. Yeah, more Pronto Schooler. And then have some Alexander Wang. This blazer is gorgeous. And like the little like those. Designer clearance. Have a lot of stock in it. Super like a beer jacket. They have a lot of these pad ones. One. Mira que bella I love the colors with the buttons and the white top and then this blue denim super super cute i really like it a lot are right, getting ready for the anniversary so this oh my god blazer i love the little how it kind of goes on one and swimwear aloe and then here's more of the tbd section which is more like the, the denim they have top shop right here which is you know top shop explain it's just top sock and they have some reformation or kind of like the bp brand and more like the juniors kind of collection citizens i don't know how i feel about ref after everything kind of happened i kind of don't really want to support them anymore actually i don't want to support them so i don't think i'm gonna move on to other brands so if there's other brands like reformation definitely let me know down below because I don't know, I can't stand behind a brand like that unless they do something major to change. Good American, we love Good Americans. There's gonna be a lot of Good American denim on the anniversary sale. You know, Nick and Zoe, gorgeous it is. I feel like you can use it as a dress or you can open it up as a blazer. Like this kind of section with like Frame, Ragan, Veronica Beard. They have, they're very well stocked and like, look at the mannequins. Stunning, that silk kind of corally, gorgeous. Mint's my favorite brand. There's like literally a pad full of it. One full pad of it. Conic black silk blouse. I have that one and it's worth every single penny. This is more of the more of like the Vince Camuto and the Halogen. Like I'm gonna go back downstairs and see what the 411 is. And I meet up with my friends, but I want to kind of walk around North Term and Eamons just so you guys can see what it is here, like in Denver. And then the Urban Outfitters here is huge as well. I'm not the biggest Urban fan, but it's not super, super huge. Look at that kind of broken glass detail, but it's super big. And there's also like uh, through the outside. And then Anthropology is also very big as well. Shinola, North Face. And then we're gonna go back home and then we're gonna see what they have. I think they have more of like the designer stores up. So we're gonna see what they have. This is the North Sherman Cherry Creek and then Neiman Marcus and Cherry Creek. And I always like to look at them and reference them back there. Oh my god, this is kind of scary. The, the noise is very big. 
It makes a lot of money. To take you guys along because it feels like we're going shopping together. You know what I mean? We get to look at everything, como sato las tiendas, and it's weird because you can always like, let's see if I come back here. Here you see how everything changed. Like, oh, well, let me get a refresh on that video, and like, oh, look how everything changed. Like maybe all these were different stores or something moves, and you know, I just always have been a big fan of shopping and retail and stores and buying things whole, like just the whole shebang. I've always been a big fan of. Gives me a Stonebriar vibes. If you've ever been to the one, it's kind of outside of Dallas. Their stores. So they have a Joe Malone. Dallas does not have a Joe Malone free Sunny boutique. There's a full David Yerman. There is a Tiffany Co. Coat, Louis Vuitton. And I said that to be funny. There's a Kate Spade boutique I just met store outside of here. But it is beautiful. I'll well, see if we can drive past out there. There's a line here at Tiffany. But this is going to be a really big mess. It's like, I guess people in Denver love their own mess. And this is, oh, they have a Burberry store as well. Oh, but I think it's closed. That, yeah, that's definitely like a more of an older Burberry. You can see the logo and everything. This is so we we'll open at two. We apply for any convenience, and yeah, it has a lot of good new stock. But I don't like the way this Burberry is set up because it looks like a kind of older Burberry. Like it needs a remodel. Like the aesthetic doesn't match, you know, Ricardo Tissues. You know stuff so I will, it doesn't match his aesthetic like this store definitely needs more of a remodel but yeah this is the Burberry because it looks honestly it looks kind of like an outlet store but yeah this is the Burberry and it is closed the Vuitton store it has glass on it did somebody break in here so something happened because it's broken in here but yeah I think that's Emma Stone and the Cappuccino bag. Have our coats full price store. Spade one as well. And they also have a Sephora. Definitely looks like an older Sephora. They're so beautiful. Like I love the fixtures. I love how fun and bright it is. Look at the beautiful Margos. That green one is absolutely stunning. Like look at it. It's gorgeous. The mall's pretty decent, like I said, it's more of a strong buyer. They don't have every everything like a Dallas. And then the Apple store is packed because the one in Dallas is closed. But the one in Denver is busy, busy. There's a Pandora jewelry store, movie theater, and then a gap. Oh that gap looks so sad. Super super sad. But I do like it here. I do like, I like Denver. How did I miss it, guys? How did I miss the Toy Bird store? I was like, I went here, I was like, oh, there's a Tiffany, and I literally, guys, walked past by it. I walked past by one of my favorite stores, Toy Bird. I cannot believe it. You guys did some shopping? Hi, so, your so we're all. Yeah. From Rack, guys. I love the Rack. I love to shop here. So I wonder what, what goodies we're going to find. Look at the baby shoes. Yeah, Valentino. Hi. Burberry. But look at all those baby shoes. That's in Jimmy Choo, Gucci, a Malone. Which is not change in Gucci bag, Burberry bag, Michelle Watts, Sayola, Dark Fans for two twenty five. Those are really pretty, but they're a little bit too big. Birch, Gucci phone cases, the Gucci Suki. Um, 
full price styles of that bag. Here's the Everly collection. This one's a Nordstrom exclusive. <laughs> MCM Rose Gold Tote. It's 309. A little McGraw moment. And then we have some of the classic fairy totes here in the blue color. And then we have more of the Everly collection. And they have one here as well. A little Kukaya handbag. Like a Minka bag. For Kukaya. 125. And they have these Troy Birch Croc backpacks. They look like from the York collection. And they are 183. Without this theory top, feels so good. The material is like scuba. Toy Birch jacket is 198 from 500. Studios blazers. The 158 here. Top green. I think I tried this on before. It was really pretty floral one. Meshed through it. $60 bonus now for future use. Just apply for Mason a new Marjola. card and use your card with us. Oh my god, guys. So I just got lucky. I'll show you what I found. Good jeans on sale. They have like these for 15 and these are full price style. Topshop Jamie jeans. Full price style for $18. And then blue jeans for $80 from $200. Mother jeans, more mother jeans. And then we have these really pretty good American jeans. And these ones are $40. I think the tag fell out of it, but it's $40. Saw in like a haul that I bought these ones. And I said I got them for a good price, but the but I still haven't worn those, so I'm gonna return those. And these ones are $53. The classic um, Mark Fisher booties. I have like a few of them, and they're my absolute favorite booty under 200 oh my god like the best deals ever i've ever gotten but it's pretty good like these boots that's a good price here we found our nordstrom rack i kind of hit the jackpot i got a lot of contemporary items so the first one are these good american jeans they're originally 169 they're full price style and they're 40 dollars. and so i thought they're really nice they have a nice stretch to them and for me i just want like some nice kind of jeans very easy to throw on with the white t-shirt and we're about to go to uniqlo so like a white t-shirt this Accessories, good to go. Classic Mark Fisher booties, $53. These are still full price at Nordstrom, so I thought these are really good. I have a lot of these Mark Fisher booties. By a lot, I mean like two other ones. And <laughs> I really, really like them. And they're super comfortable. And for the price, regardless of the price, I think they're pretty nice boots. And then I'm going to get these Ugg boots here and saying classic Ugg boots, guys. The classic ones. <gasps> That's why I never put so, these classic Ugg boots. I mean, is a buy, and then these ones, I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're $30, originally $89, but they're full price style. I'm about to try them on, and then I'm gonna let the girls decide if it's best if I should get them or not. Ugh. Actually, no, make them. Look. <laughs> What's they're, this? They're size 10, but the thing is, I have a wide foot. Oh, yeah. No, so I shouldn't do them right. No. I should just do the Ugg boots, the Mark Fisher, and the Good American jeans. Oh. But we're gonna go to Uniqlo. I've been wanting to come here for the longest because we don't have any in Texas. Like every day that I can walk into Uniqlo. The last time I went to Uniqlo was when I was in London. But as you can see, um, a lot of stuff happening around here. Few of them because they're ten dollars, usually fifteen. So I'm gonna do like three white ones. I kind of like this camely color. I like this color. You can never, just never have enough of these Uniqlo tops. These are what I use all the time. They hold up pretty well. You know how sometimes after you wash them a couple times, they just don't wear nice. It's one, of, one of my favorite brands, just for core and basic items. Ninety-nine. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fast fashion person, but the thing is, what I like about Uniqlo is the stuff actually holds up pretty well. And that stuff is pretty decent quality. Like it's it's good for what you're paying for, and it doesn't disintegrate like in one second. Leggings for fifteen dollars, absolute favorite. Oh, they have all these trousers for 
ten dollars and fifteen. Oh, these are really nice. I need a medium. It's medium. Oh yes. Oh, I love these. <laughs> I love Uniqlo. You're gonna see que me encanta mucho esta marca. Es una de mis favoritas. And like I said, I'm so grateful that I'm here because I can finally shop. I don't know how the sizing runs in them. So I think I'm gonna take an eight and probably a six. Let's see how they fit. And then they have all these shorts on sale for $15. And all these kind of graphic ones. I even like the sign that it says, Uniqlo's idea of children's clothing. Number one, design that lets kids move. Two, material design, especially for comfort. Three, made for easy removal. Four, fun designs for kids, reassuring safe features to help kids grow and stay healthy. So like, look, uh, so excited to be here. Uniqlo, Uniqlo or Uniqlo? I'm probably saying it wrong. It's classic rayon tops for $30. I got all my stuff from Uniqlo. They give me these plastic bags, and uh, I'm so excited. So since the fitting room was closed, I didn't really get to try on almost any nothing. So I'm gonna go try everything on, and then I'll come well, right before they close. I'm gonna try on on some other things that I bought. So we're home. I'm gonna try on a lot of the Uniqlo stuff. So whenever I don't like that fit, I'm gonna go return. Do we like the jeans? Do you like the jeans a lot? I think they're like a nice fit. And they make the behind look good. I'm keeping for sure. The jeans are in a size four, and this one doesn't really have a stretch to them. Usually a lot of Good American has stretch. It just has like the smallest amount of stretch that I've ever seen in a pair of Good American dead. The ones are good price. They were originally $40, and I got them for 10. I just feel like this is just kind of like a nice kind of trouser to wear. And I love Uniqlo. Yay or nay? Do we like them or do we hate them? I like them a lot. I love that color. They're a little bit more high-waisted than I anticipated. Family ones here are a no. The room was open because it would just be easy. I could try on everything and whatever I don't like. I can just, you know, regular start all. And then I got these colors here and they look more khaki in the camera. The other ones, and I like these a lot more. I may get them hemmed just a little bit. But we'll see. Usually I style everything like a full outfit and then I decide if I'm gonna keep it or not. But they're super high-waisted, and they have a little uh, snap button closure. Simple button-up top, and this one was $15. It's just like super clean. What do we think, guys? What do we think? I wasn't expecting to like this one, but I actually like it, and this one was 15 bucks. So if I find any of the things, I will definitely leave them linked down below. This one, I'm gonna prefer the medium one, just because I want it to be a little bit more oversized. I think I like the little roll on. I like how it goes a little bit longer. This is more like of a top that I can wear with like denim, where I don't really have to wear a third piece. These good American jeans, maybe the equity ones that I got from Aritzia. These ones here, it's just like a nice kind of simple, casual, elevated kind of look. So I'm at another North Rack, typical studio. I just did an outfit change. I'm um, still wearing my multi-pitch accessories, my Louis Vuitton earring set. That's kind of like, uh, it's in the way. So it's kind of like, my top is the Uniqlo one. It just looks so expensive. Like, um, if you watch my chair vlog, I said how I have, I like these Vince tops. And this literally looks like the Vince top and this is only $15. And then I'm wearing the same jeans from a Goldie that I got at Aritzia. And then these are the one, the same boots that I got today. So basically I'm wearing the same top and the boots that I got today. But there are so many good items here. So um, I'm going to quickly show you. And then I'm going to try them all on. So bag and bone long sleeve. 
and this one's for such an amazing price, guys. I wish it was clear the rack, but it's not. $13.99 for the classic gray long sleeve. I'm gonna try on this barber jacket. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but there's one going on the anniversary, so that I think I'm gonna pick up. But um, I just thought I would try it on. My favorite thing is this Anina Bean. Anina Bean never goes on sale, and the fact that I got this, it's here for $40, originally from $169, and Anina Bean never goes on sale. And it does have like a little bit of makeup and stuff, but honestly, I don't really mind. I just like a long, kind of comfy little sweater, so I saw that. This aloe top, and this one is $18. These sweaty Betty leggings, since I don't wear Victoria's Secret, I don't have a lot, a lot of leggings right now. These ones are $25. Good American jeans are $40. And then this is the best view out of all of them. It's a Hugo Boss um, jacket for $60, bucks, originally $500. Such a great deal, so I can't wait to try everything on. Hugo Boss. Um, it's a little bit boxy. I wish it was a little bit more shorter, but I think I'm gonna take it and try to make it work. The great thing about Nordstrom Rack is that they have a really great return policy, so if it doesn't work out, I can just take it back as long as I have the touch and I have the receipts. So I think I wanna play around with this for fall, um, the color, and we'll see how I like it. If I like it, then I'll keep it. If not, I can always come back. This is the barber jacket. I just wanted to try it on. I just try on the Notre anniversary one because I really like the green color of it. Yeah, this is the here and it has one on top. Oh, that's interesting because it has like two. But yeah, this is the barber one. Really like this Anina Bean one, guys. Like, I love it. It goes with my style, my aesthetic. I just think it's such a nice kind of travel, you know, for, like for a little road trip. So, this Anina Bean walk with me. I think this is so full price on her website. This one is a yes for me. Love this Anina Bean. The, I'm smiling, guys. <sighs> People say I don't smile, but I'm smiling. I don't like to take my face mask in the fitting room. I like to keep it on. For everybody, I always keep it on. But this is the Rag and Bone. Just like a nice layering piece. I have a couple of vests. I just got a new one. So I just think this is just like a perfect kind of layering piece. And after I lose some weight, I think this will look really good on me. And it's a size medium, but this is gonna go and this is gonna go but yeah rag and bone long sleeve gray aloe top i just feel like whenever i to the cleaners or like i wash it it's like a workout se va a ser como bien fea so yo digo como que esta como que no me parece tanto <sighs> i love esas tres esas tres son mis favoritos ahorita so far but yeah i'm gonna try on these ones real fast these are the good american ones i'm not sure how i feel about them i like them I don't like the way they cut them back. So I think these ones are gonna be a no. These are the sweaty Betty ones. And I like them. I think I'm just gonna layer them with shorts in the winter. But I do really like them. So <laughs> I think these are winter. And let's see they score well. Yeah. These ones are pretty good. But yeah, I love my outfit. And so I'm gonna be getting the sweaty Betty leggings. Just a nice core. The Hugo Boss Blazer, if not my friend would want this. Story of my life. Especially the Nina Bring for when we travel on our road trip tomorrow. And then just the classic rag and bone. And then the Good Americans, Aloe, and the Barber or No, which are kind of anticipated, but I'm especially excited for these two because these are probably gonna be the set that I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. <laughs> This is like the view that I, that's worth. Yeah. Here, wait. First, I got foggy. Like <laughs> the, the, the moment you said it, they got foggy. <laughs> Okay. Look close. 
Oh my god, guys. They're scared. Tienen miedo. Yo no. Yo quiero vivir mi vida. Yo lo quiero hacer todo. Sophia. So now we are at the gift shop. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. <laughs> All in your home state, how generous the nation sports America's not in. So Texas and Missouri are the number ones in here. The ones that give out the most. So we are now trying to go back home. And it is. Hailing in Nueva Mexico, New Mexico. So uh, we're just gonna stay here for a while until se me quita, se me quita. Es algo domingo, pero cuando I heard the hail, uh, brinqué como si fue nada.